welcome back. We take you out to Seattle, Washington, where today we have Robert Ott with us, who is a manager and broker with Compass Real Estate, and he has a very special guest with him today that he's going to introduce and tell us all about. Robert, welcome back to the show. Great to have you. Thanks, Sarah. Great to see you again. Thanks for having us. You too. Can you introduce your special guest today and uh, tell us all about both of you? Yeah, that sounds good. I'd like to introduce you to a good friend of mine. His name is Taraknath Woody. I actually call him Woody. He's a good friend of mine. I've known each other for, for a while. And, and uh, uh, my buddy Woody here, he's starting a new company. It's called Annika Data Science Solutions. And uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a few questions about your company. Thank you for having me here, Sarah and Robert. Yes, right. please go ahead. Sounds good. So, um, so this this company that you're starting, can you tell me about it? Tell me about what it does. What is what is the goal of Annika Data Science Solutions? As the world became more and more data dependent, then the data science term becomes so famous. Not just in one field, not in the health sector, real estate, insurance, and everywhere. And we saw there is a lot of room in analyzing the corporate data. And when you analyze the corporate data, the insights it gives, taking there to the intelligence and then building the wisdom out of it was the idea. I want to talk to you about, about um, a sub-company that you started called SidStock. It is a company that will analyze stocks and help people be able to figure out um, what stocks they should be investing in. Can you tell us a little bit about that company too? True. Um, the Sid stocks are, you know, you basically take your own decisions in deciding and investing in stocks. And why should you do it? Why should not someone else take the decision for you to invest in stocks? Bottom line, any kind of a stock profile doesn't work in silo. It is driven by many things. Some of the things are internal to the company. How does the company does? And some are external. So the patterns, there are trends, there are seasonalities involved, and those can be mathematically modeled. We just decided, okay, why not we look at it? And we ended up having a very high amount of accuracy in forecasting what should be the value of the stock. And, and we many a times differ from that of the market numbers, but our number stands out when the quarterly revenue gets shown up. So the, fundamentally what we said, let us set up boundary conditions. We set ourselves limits. The limit says, we are saying, what would be the stock value in a week or 10 days, or 10 working days that makes it two weeks. And over the period of time, we say, this is how the profile of the tax uh, stock will be. And we are also computing the uncertainty. Uncertainty means you can say the stock of a certain company A would be $100 plus minus $30. Does it help anyway? No. If you can pinpoint it to plus minus $1 or plus minus 50 cents with a stock price of $100, you are somewhere there. And that is the accuracy we are talking about. If we have to put ourselves in numbers, we talk about $100 plus minus $1.7. We are that close in terms of the range in predicting stocks. That is amazing. Because I don't think anyone comes close to getting that accurate on their prices. That's, that's, that's amazing. So um, just a couple questions about how you do that. So um, what do you look for when you're trying to figure out how you're going to get close to, to a, a value? What are the things, what's the specific thing you look for in trying to figure out a future value? Um, I wish there is one thing to look for. Always people have hunted since the day the first company was built in the world to look for one thing. Yes. And you can never get one. What we look into is what is their position status quo today and how did they act in the past? How did they get over that lump? And that defines what do they, next, what do, they do next. Again, if I might take an example of our own Seattle company, Microsoft, the type of products Microsoft has, and those products, as and when they are going into cloud, and Azure will come up and will stand up as one of the biggest competitors. Now that stocks are going to go up, and Microsoft is going to stand out on it. When Microsoft realized, take the, for example, the Expedia, it was its own company, but it realized that fine, it should spin off by itself, it's a travel company and then you saw the Expedia stocks being different than this. So what are the actions they take? And we are scrolling and scraping that data and analyzing it. And that's how we are able to get a level of accuracy that's not known to the market now. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. amazing. So um, this is a company that, that's being started right now. How can people learn more about SidStock? How can they learn more about how you are able to predict and um, the accuracy and how they can be a part of it? 
we will be launching the domain very soon. Uh, we have a date which we are not revealing and uh, we'll go through, all the partners will sit down and we are going to launch the domain in terms of its membership, its acceptability, or should it be run it like a funding agency, which way it should be run, right? Those are the modalities we are figuring it out now. Mm -hmm. The first thing we thought, all that was a known thing to the world, how a company should be built and which way you should structure it. The unknown piece here was the algorithm. And the algorithm is what we had been spending time since four years. Yeah. And we got sorted that out. So that was the fundamental piece. And we'll go to your, uh, I just want to keep my cards closed right now. That's, that sounds good. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. I tell you, I'm very excited about this process. All right, well, thank you so much, Woody. I appreciate your time. Sarah, back to you. I, once again, we really appreciate your time, your energy. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again next time. Absolutely. Thank both of you for coming on. Thank you, Robert, for introducing us to Tark Nath. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. You too. And you're watching The American Dream. We'll be right back.